All right. Yeah, I'm just. Um, I just finished doing the um, the moves here for um, Seventh Corps. They're under the control of Fourth Army, which is over here. And so Brevich here, the sector commander, has given um, Maritz von Offenberg, the Fourth Army commander, his instructions were to secure the um, the what I'm calling the um, the border railway. I don't know what else to call it. So it's this bit here. But I forgot about this spot here. So I'm going to have to start shifting some troops over. Um, uh, and here's 8th Corps. Over. So this is uh, General Major Von Selner. And the 8th Corps is General Major... Von, Na, not Von Nagy, just Nagy, I think. Hold on, i got to check. No, it is Von Nagy. Okay. So he's got these two guys, and then uh, direct army control right now for the 4th Army is this, and he also has, um, uh, Offenberg also has um, um, a 2-4 um, Hotzendorf division that just got created. So it'll be, bringing, be brought over there, but uh, with that movement allowance, not able to get them straight up into the front. Uh, four supply points here, So, but I do want to move the 8th, uh, the uh, I want to move um, Von Nagy over to here, um, but here's the here's the kicker. I maybe am not going to anymore due to the fact that I'm going to. I, I think I've mentioned that I wanted to allow each army commander each turn to. It doesn't mean it's going to be uh, you know um, accepted or whatever, or um, you know it could be you know denied and all that stuff. Is just to send out a special request. And I think the fourth army now, and I'm starting to look at this from a also like just a, a bigger part of it is like okay successful yeah the austro germans are doing an amazing job but the thing is is their front in a sense um is starting to go you know it's getting massive and um it's difficult to try to keep troops like enough troops in each hex for example now like right now if I take this, if that's the case, that means the 4th Army's front, I think, is 160 kilometers wide, for crying out loud. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight, since each hex is 20 kilometers wide. Um, that's pretty mo monstrous. So I, I think the special request is to ask, uh, can 1st Army take control of everything um, west of the Virps? River, I guess, here, around here, and then uh, the 4th Army can just focus from here to here, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 120 kilometers wide. Uh, I think that would be, that would be helpful. I don't know if it's going to, I don't know what um, Brejevich is going to say about this, because the 1st Army has got a, has got a massive front here as well. Um, they still got to deal with everything uh, east of the Visloka all the way up to here, and that's, uh, Okay, let's just do this one here from here. That's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. So they're at 120. So they would be the ones that take it. Maybe as Havzies or something. But uh, it's just to try to help out the 4th Army. But I'm loving this micro little... It, it's also not only, like I said, uh, helping me portion out each... Just it's not uh, my mind isn't getting overwhelmed in in a, in a sense, and I'm able to like go okay, you're at this level uh, for the sector commander. Take a look at what what the major things are. Don't look at the don't look at the nitty gritty. You can deal with that later. Then I pop it down to the oh my gosh, and it, it's as well as it's obviously adding massively to the narrative. It's just ridiculous because I'm just like keep it up. I will say this, and I'm so flipping glad that meandering Mike uh, is doing a playthrough of the um, introductory scenario as well as has mentioned it before when he brought it up with the rail thing when I had that uh, railway map is the only right now in the previous turn the third army moved away from this spot they were like oh well that's not our that's not our job anymore and they moved across to here and they left two empty spaces all these guys were over here basically um, uh, seventh corps just shifted over um, and um, did I rail these guys over? No, I just moved them over. I moved Von Selner over a little bit. But here's the kicker. So this German troop, which is so neat to see. I've never seen this before yet. Uh, I mean, here's an actual German unit in its actual German uh, colors kind of thing, but under Austro-Hungarian uh, control there, the, four, uh, the Fourth Army there, because uh, that German, uh, the 23rd Landwehr Brigade, is all by itself, it used to be part of this group here, um, 
which was one hex over here. I couldn't get, he's only a movement uh, factor of four, not one of those movement factor of fives. And you need five movement points to get over to here because it's in and out, in and out of zones of control, left, right, and flip and center. Um, so yeah, it would have been um, three just to get to here. For, I think six, like forget it. it. It wouldn't even still be able to, but here's the kicker or the beautiful thing. Uh, railed the German troop from here, costing one point. Moved it over to here and was able to detrain um, uh, within four movement points. So that was the only way I was able to get the, to plug up that hole. I was like, geez, thanks. And then the rest of the uh, the troops that were there moved to here. These guys moved to here. And like I said, and then that's going to be that. Um, the thing is, uh, okay, there's a lot of fair amount of strength points. This is the thing is I'm starting to look at now. I mean, I know the Russians don't have anything left, so it's kind of like a... They're lucky, I guess you could say that. But uh, the thing is, is to start um, realizing that, uh, you know, I can see why sometimes you want to like back up kind of thing and condense uh, and cause the other guys to um, spread out and thin out. Because that's just how, I mean, it's, you know, on both sides, but it's like, I'm like, okay, I'm trying to pluck up the holes here, but um, yep, okay, yeah, and trust me, I could go on and on and on, but I got, I got to get, get to work. Okay. See ya. Hope you're having a fun time. Bye.